His promising career in IndyCar was cut short by a horrific accident, but Robert Wickens never gave up on his mission to become a racing champion. Soon he'll be reaching one of his goals, simply getting back behind the wheel. Brad Brown has more on Wickens' journey in tonight's Sports Extra Spotlight. More than a thousand days have passed since that near fateful moment in Robert Wickens' career, but it feels somewhat like a lifetime ago for the 32-year-old driver. Being out of the car, out of, out of a race seat for three years now, it's been, it's been really challenging. And I'm still involved in motorsports, um, working with the IndyCar team and, and being a consultant and a driver coach there and still trying to stay, stay in the loop of, of motorsport, but actually driving nothing compares to it. Paralyzed, but not done racing. Wickens has worked tirelessly to get back to what he loves, back behind the wheel, journaling his quest on social media along the way. I started karting when I was seven years old, and it's just like you're competing, you're competing, and thankfully I was, I was quite gifted in motorsports. Um, and yeah, just winning, that, that like almost like ecstasy that you feel of, of winning and the adrenaline that comes with it was, uh, you can't compare to anything else. Now Wickens will be getting that opportunity to race again. Brian Herta Autosport and their Hyundai Elantra in the IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenge. The car has specially designed hand controls. Wickens helped in the development during his rehab process. The system that we're developing now um, for the 2022 season is going to be a lot more as I remember driving, where your hands are properly on the wheel and, and more, more sit stuff are on the back side of the steering wheel, which will leave a lot more space to talk to the team on the radio, adjust your switches, anything else, because you'll actually have more, more opportunity to do that stuff. Wickens joins a BHA effort that has won three straight series titles. I think it's going to be a, a great opportunity for me to hopefully uh, have some strong results right out of the box. And, you know, I felt like I was really hitting my prime as a driver prior to my accident in 2018, and I want to hit the ground running. And he's hoping for more of the success he found during a far too short career in IndyCar. The goal is pretty simple. I want to win the first race and just move on. I'm, I'm not here to gain experience slowly and surely and hopefully fight for a championship. Like, I want to win the first race and I want to win the championship. It's not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not here just for, to tick a box. You know, I want to keep competing and, 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 and win again. Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.